Hey, what's up out there? Dave Duford here, helping agents like you with your insurance sales questions. And today's question is actually a pretty good one. I got uh, gotten several times over the years. I've had agents that have approached me, whether they've posted a comment on my YouTube channel or they've talked to me over the phone, and they've asked questions such as, why don't I just contract directly with the company instead of through an agency? And so what I'm going to spend time doing in this video is just basically describing in what circumstances one would contract direct to the company and whereas what other circumstances you would contract direct to the agent and in, in agency. And then in some circumstances, kind of clarify some things because I think there, this question is posed upon in general some misunderstanding, not all the time. But then uh, try to give you my um, bias, as I'll say, as to why I think working with an agency is superior to working direct with a company in the rare instances that it's still something that is allowed. So so let's kind of talk about this from, from the standpoint of where most people are coming from. First of all, if you're new to this business, you've probably thought about, well, I see there's a lot of agencies that recruit, but I haven't found one that quite suits me and kind of what I do. Why would I want to consider working with an agency? I can just go direct to the source and do my thing there. Well, so here's, here's kind of the thing that, that is not necessarily the, the reality of, of the insurance recruiting business. It's, it's been in this business of insurance over the past 20, 30 years that insurance companies, oddly enough, have moved away as a general trend from the recruitment of insurance agents. I think what has happened, and, and other experienced agents can back this up, is that insurance companies realize that they're unique offering to the market what they could excel at best wasn't necessarily recruiting and sustaining an agency force um, or an agent force instead what they do best is the creation and administration of insurance products and the management of the premium monies that come from it and so they got out of the business really of the recruiting business you've seen several of examples over the past many years where large insurance companies have literally liquidated their insurance uh, career force uh, to the point now where the vast majority of agents are independent. They work through an agency or an, uh, marketing organization such as an FMO, IMO, that kind of thing. Uh, there is one in particular, I think it was American General back in 2016, maybe 2015. They brought their whole 4,000 plus career force in for a mandatory um, uh, company-wide interview and fired everybody on the spot to the point where they brought in uh, security people to collect laptops. Imagine all those years spent building a clientele, and if you kept all that information right there on, on site, you lost all your connections and contacts. Crazy. But this is just a small example of what's been happening in this business. And the reason this is relevant to you is because you may be the kind of person who doesn't know any better. Now you know a little bit better. You may also be highly independent, and you may think like a consumer does, which is good. You want to eliminate the middleman. You see these agencies as, a, as an impediment to your earning capacity because, truth be told, when you work with an agency, regardless of how much or how little support you get, a portion of that production, to an extent, um, in forms of commission, goes to the agency. So what I'm going to try to do is, is describe to you um, really the reality and why working with an agency, uh, first of all, is the norm and why it's not that much of an impediment anyway, assuming you take time to find the right agency and why it's really to your advantage to work with an IMO or an FMO versus going it alone. So first of all, because of this trend to get out of the agent recruitment business, it's become uh, really a rarity to find companies that will recruit you direct to the company. I mean, they're out there. I think Royal Neighbors did it at one point. That may have changed. That was several years ago. There's a company called United Heritage, to some extent, that recruits you direct. Um, and there are others. But the vast majority of the mainline life insurance companies do not do direct recruitments anymore. Again, there are exceptions. Uh, so you're going to have a hard time, if you're going to the independent side of the business, to pick up carriers and have access and with the intent of not dealing with anybody, any agencies or anything else. You're going to have a very hard time of doing that if that's ultimately your goal. The other side of the coin is, is that the ones that do um, recruit direct tend to be your captive company. So, for example, a Lincoln Heritage or 
uh, old American or American Income Life uh, or senior life insurance companies. These are all, generally speaking, life insurance companies that do have a direct recruitment component that ties in directly to their life insurance company. And, and where you find the success with these business models usually lies in a very recruitment-driven environment um, that's based off of, of you getting out there to an extent, personally producing, but also bringing other people aboard to also recruit them to do the same thing. And with a captive environment, if you don't know, that means you're obligated to that one company exclusively, especially if you plan on building an agency with them as well as selling their products and getting access to their lead program. So you set yourself up for limitations if your true belief is in independence, having access to different carriers so you have better underwriting options and better pricing available to you. And the thing is, is even if you're direct to a company, you'd think, well, there's no middlemen, therefore I can get the best commission rates. Not really the case. Time and time again, what I've experienced is that the best commissions a producer can get if they are able to prove the production, they've, they've got experience in the business especially, is they'll find really good options um, with marketing organizations like myself or others. They're able to go in and find that we're able to negotiate a higher rate and then have some um, decision-making power on who gets what commission levels. So what I find is that if you're in this position of thinking you're going to get ripped off, certainly it could happen if you're dealing with an organization that puts everybody to lower commission, um, doesn't care if you have experience to show to possibly raise your level. What you'll find is, is that in many circumstances, that is just not the case. You're going to find a better deal working with an organization uh, uh, privately, especially if you partner with one IMO or FMO exclusively, uh, where you send a lot of business to one organization. A lot of companies will like that and give you a higher rate of commission than if you just had one contract with them. That's another story entirely. A lot of agents will object to that. Well, the, the key is to make sure you ascertain a release up front or deal with a very publicly facing organization like myself, where if you don't honor release, then it becomes public nature and that destroys your credibility. So you've got something on the line. There's a give and take. Um, so uh, let's see. Last things to, to summarize here. Now, this is, goes really towards the newer agents, at really justifying why you should um, embrace working with an IMO or an FMO or some kind of insurance agency. Three different points here. Number one, you get options. You get client op you got options for your clients. Many people get involved in the insurance business because they want to do a good job by their clients. And the we best way you do a good job by your client, beyond just showing up, helping them out, and being beneficial, is making sure you've got different carriers. You see, not all carriers are going to provide the best underwriting for certain circumstances or the best pricing given those circumstances. So having multiple options through an insurance agency, as most insurance agencies are independent, they represent different insurance carriers, will give you the best options for your clients. This means you get to sell more, you get better business quality, you get better referrals, you have a better experience. You win, your client wins, everybody wins. So more options is always a good thing. As mentioned earlier, there's the opportunity for higher commission levels. Again, if you work with an agency exclusively, Many times you'll get a better opportunity for higher commissions if you go in with the right attitude and negotiate the right way. And then lastly, the business is the most important, especially for new agents. You get sales training and marketing system access with the best insurance agencies now and IMOs. Now, this is not always the case. There are a lot of agencies, I can think of a few, that are just pump and dump. They cold call all day. They just want to send you a contract, get you contracted, write a piece of business here and there. Their business model is recruit everybody with a, a that can fog a mirror, put them in a position to sell, and some of them will sell, and then they'll continue to recruit them to more. The problem with that is that a lot of people get started in the insurance business, and, and they get their license, and they're like, well, what do I do next? How do I sell something? How do I find somebody that's actually a prospect? And these are great questions, questions you should ask. And so the solution is to find an organization that specializes in the actual action of teaching you how to sell this stuff, how to find prospects, how to close them, what kind of lead systems to use, and having underwriting support, you know, somebody in your corner to help when you have questions. That's what I do in my insurance agency. When I have somebody who enters, one enters a final expense business primarily is what I do. We also do mortgage protection, annuity sales, uh, Medicare supplement sales too. 
uh, we have somebody that will help them develop an ability and an approach to generate leads consistently, present in an educational, trustworthy way to the prospect, to teach them how to close, how to get the business, and then how to underwrite it effectively on a consistent long-term basis. This is the most valuable thing an agency can provide you if they are set up to, to have that ability to funnel people into their system like that, like what I do. Um, as I have recognized as an agency, very few people have an understanding of what it takes to be successful. They kind of understand, but they don't know where to go, what to do, and what systems to put in place. That's why I developed my agency for that person in mind that wants to have access to the actual things that are proven to work, where we just put someone into a system and put them to work. If this is something that interests you, I definitely uh, welcome you to feel free to reach out to uh, me directly. We'd be happy to show you how our programs work to help new and experienced agents looking for a business model in the insurance business become successful. Also, if you haven't checked the books out uh, that I've uh, uh, so well put into my videos, make sure you buy them. First one's uh, Selling Final Expense Insurance Official Guide. The other one is Interviews with Top Producing Insurance Agents. You can go online to Amazon, buy the paperback, or go to my website and get an ebook version. And that's at DavidDufour.com now. And uh, other than that, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I'll be happy to follow up with you guys. Take care, and we'll see you next time. See ya.